Greetings from the north woods of Michigan's Upper Peninsula. I'm Natasha, your plant-centered lifestyle guide, and you are watching my weekly video. For those of you who have never tuned in before, please stick around until the end because I have a great explanation of what plant-centered living is, and it will give you a much better picture of why I do these weekly videos, and hopefully you will then join me each week. Today's video is for those of you who have it in your head that it is too hard to make that transition to a plant-centered lifestyle. Perhaps I can shed some light onto what might be keeping you from making that next step or that leap. Um, the first one is, I don't think you're probably convinced that it is the right way to go. You know, you haven't at a gut level really found it within yourself to say, you know what, I need to do this. I want to do this. I want to do it for my health, for the animals, for the environment, or perhaps for another reason. You just aren't there yet. Because when a person is there, they put a priority on whatever activity that is. Think about it right now in your own life. You have things that you want to put time energy, effort, and money into. You don't feel bad at all because it's important to you and it's something that you want in your life. So when it comes to plant-centered living and a plant-centered way of eating, it's no different. If you truly believe it and it becomes part of who you are, then it isn't too hard. It's just simply something that you want to do. The third thing is, and I think this is often off-putting to people, and that is we live in a culture of social media and we are inundated on Instagram and Facebook and on television and every other screen that we come into contact with. These beautiful plates of food that are artistic and gorgeous. And we think to ourselves, I don't have the kind of time to put into making something like that. And if plant-centered living is all about having to spend that much time in the kitchen and put together things that look like that, I'm just not going to do it. Folks, remember something. Social media and everything that we see out there, that is curated. Those are only the images that people want us to see. Let me tell you from my own personal experience, on my Facebook feed and the pictures that I take to share with my friends, I'm not going to take pictures of the flops in the kitchen and say, hey, check this out. The whole point is, is that when we see those things in social media, they just end up making us feel inadequate and bad. And that's ridiculous. And especially when it comes to food. Plant-centered eating does not have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be fancy. And you don't have to make beautiful plates every time. So if you can tell yourself that it is much easier than you may have thought before, that might be helpful in helping you to realize that it's not too hard. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is you may still be viewing plant-centered living and the plant-centered eating that goes with it as a diet. And if you are, then absolutely it is too hard because diets don't work, period. Let me say it again, and I've said it a million times, diets don't work, period. Now, let me put a little caveat on that. If for some reason you are desperate to lose five or 10 pounds for an upcoming occasion, sure, you can diet and you can take those pounds off. But I can almost guarantee you that whatever you're doing to take that weight off is not sustainable over time. So in our culture, the word diet conjures up restriction. It conjures up notions of bland tasting food, of being hungry all the time. Lots of negative things are associated with diets. And if you're going into a plant-centered way of eating and thinking this is a diet and there are certain foods that are compliant or not compliant or there are certain foods that I can have or not have, then no, it is too hard and you probably aren't going to do it. So coming full circle and going back to the very first thing I talked about and that was being absolutely convinced that a plant-centered lifestyle and a plant-centered way of eating are the way to go, you have to get there first or you are going to think that it's too hard. You're not going to prioritize it. 
you're going to get overwhelmed and think that it's too difficult to prepare beautiful meals. And you are going to keep thinking of it as a diet that is full of restriction and limitations. So I hope that this video today has given you a new lens to think about why it might be too hard for you. And then in future videos, we'll talk more, um, and I do every week pretty much, about the ways in which uh, we can frame our plant-centered way of living and our plant-centered way of eating to make it accessible and very down-to-earth and um, to support you on your journey. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.